the plan was to put the trench box in, dig down below the sand le level, use these riprap to put in the bottom, put a geofabric over it, then put some crushing run on top of it to give us a solid base to build this off of. Uh, it's a little too wet. Still got the same plan, but we're gonna have to dewater again. And we were trying to avoid that. I'll post right here. Look at that price. You know, man, 10 grand. When you're a small business owner, you take every 10 grand seriously. Okay, you just don't throw it away. We tried to do it without it, but it's gonna work. So now we're gonna break down. Had to do the dewatering system again. Hate that. I hate that doing it just the amount of the money i hate it anyway that's what this one's about the yalla represents the base we're going to build to support this lift station the red represents our flow line at 12 the orange arrow is top of concrete at elevation 10 the green is elevation eight and a half that's top of grade everything you see in blue is below the water table level Water table level is elevation 11. First thing we gotta do is pump out the standing water. Now we're at elevation 12 here, so our water table's a foot below us, but the water's pushing up from the pressure. Here you can see we got down below, we're dipping it out. We're gonna set a pipe in here and then put a stone around it. That'll let the water come in to a lower level and we'll pump out of that. Here's the pipe I was talking about. Now we drilled a bunch of holes into this so water would come into it. Look in the background, you can see the pipe over to the left. See how it's below the grade, it goes down. So we're sucking water about three foot lower than where we're working at right now. That pipe has a riprap or bull rock is what we call it, not riprap, bull rock around it. We drilled holes in it. So the water just sitting there leaching into the pipe and the pump is pumping it out. That bup, 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 bup sound you hear in the background constantly, that's not Woody Woodpecker, that's that pump constantly running. Here we're putting stabilizer sand over the 24 inch RCP pipe. We've ran about 20 foot here. Now we're starting to get back in the bank. You see the trench box getting ready to go with it. Here we're using an aluminum trench box. I prefer steel in this situation, but we got aluminum right now. What do y'all prefer? The aluminum is plenty strong enough. It's just more time consuming to put it together once it gets to the job. Here, we're setting a 24 inch RCP pipe. Everything's going along pretty smoothly. The problem comes the further we get away from our pumping station, the wetter the ground's getting. Everything's moving along pretty smoothly, but we're getting away from our pumping point. If you look to the left, you can see where the ground is starting to separate as we move on. We got two excavators working right now. We built a berm so when the wet sloppy stuff comes out, we put it inside a bit, kind of let the water run off. All this dirt up on top of the bank can be real dangerous to the guys in the hole. So have a plan to manage your dirt as you go along. Now to lay out where the box goes. Run a string line across, we're lining it up. The marking paint on the ground represents a straight line to the storm that was already installed. Okay, we got our site ready. We're gonna to have to switch out the boxes. 
We dug down, got the excavator a little lower so he'll be closer. Now it's time to put the boxes together. And you can see this is what I was talking about with the aluminum boxes. It takes a little bit of time to get them together. Sorry I missed completion of the box, taking the one four foot box out and setting this box in. But we have three other jobs going on. The flow line of that pipe is at 12. Remember we got to dig down to eight and a half to get to where we have our base. So that's what we're in the process of doing. So you got the spotter over on the right, you got the man in the excavator working teamwork. Now the problems start showing up. Once we break below the water table, as we remove the sandy muck and dig it out, it just flows back in. It also is starting to take and flow out from under the pipe that we've already installed. If you look at the air, you'll see the cracks starting to develop from the separation. Notice as he is scooping here, look at the water coming out. It's really getting a little wet now. We're still got a little bit of hope at this time, but we're starting to doubt it. We got the little pump over there running, but I think this is the scoop when we decided, no, we ain't gonna do it. Once that pipe falls out, it's time to take it out. Now that we made the decision to remove the pipe, we went ahead and took this piece that you see here and the next piece uh, out. Now we're faced with, we got this box, but we got to close it in on the ends. The end we just took out, all that's coming in. So we go get the other box and we don't pull this one out, but we lay it in front of it which works out pretty good. You'll see us setting it in place here. And just ease it on down in there. Now we're secure. Let's try to dip it out again. Let's see what's happening. We got us all secure in there. Now as we dip it out, we're gonna push it down. Remember, eight and a half, and we started at the 12. Here we are, we're dipping it out. The deeper we go, getting down to it, the wetter it's getting. You can see when the bucket come up, see the soup in it, and it's falling out, see the sand. It's just getting wet. Now here's a good view of it's getting wet. And we still got to go at this point. We got another two and a half feet to go. And you can see the amount of the water. So the decision was made to stop. We're going to have to well point. We tried. It just didn't work out. But we're going to get to well point. So this video will be continuing. You hear it popping? Or is that you? That was you? 